Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. In this video, we are going to understand what is ELISA, its principle and procedure. What is ELISA? ELISA is enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, also known as enzyme immunoassay. Another name of ELISA is solid phase enzyme immunoassay. Here, enzyme means a protein that catalyzes a biochemical reaction. Immunosorbent means an antibody or antigen is removed by specific antigen or antibody from solution by an absorption method. An assay means a method which is used to determine the concentration, quantity, activity, and change of a substrate. So ELISA is a very sensitive immunochemical technique which is used to separate and quantify specific protein in given sample. Here that specific protein can be an antigen which can be a viral antigen, bacterial antigen or can be a spores, antibody, peptides or hormones etc. ELISA is invented by Eva Engwall and Peter Perlman. ELISA is used as a diagnostic tool in medicine, biotechnology, plant pathology and for quality check in various industries. And now principle of ELISA, how it works. Whenever we look out for particular antigen in sample, we know the details of that antigen and we also know what type of antibody it would bind to. Sample may or may not contain that antigen, but according to knowledge we have, we can use that antigen specific antibody to diagnose that antigen in sample. First, antibody is immobilized on solid surface of polystyrene plate. Then sample containing antigen is added. If antigen have specific reason against this particular antibody, it will bind to it and forms the antigen antibody complex. Then secondary antibody which is linked to an enzyme is added. That secondary antibody will bind to that antigen antibody complex. After that, color producing substrate is added. This substrate reacts to an enzyme and produce particular color. Then we read the color intensity with the help of colorimetric reader. With the reading, we plot a graph. This graph denotes how much concentration gives how much color intensity or optical density. And now, what are the materials required for ELISA? First is micro titer plate, which is made up of polystyrene. It has 96 wells. Second is sample. That sample can be any biological fluid like urine, serum, or cell supernatant, etc. These samples may contain antigen, antibody, hormones, or peptides. Next is coating buffer. Common coating buffer is biocarbonate buffer. There are specialized buffer also. Next is blocking buffer. The most basic blocking buffer we use in ELISA is 1% BSA, which is bovine serum albumin. Instead of BSA, we can also use dried powdered milk. Other material used in ELISA is enzyme-linked antibodies or detection antibodies. Here enzyme can be harsh reddish peroxidase or alkaline phosphatase. Next is color producing substrate. TMB which is tetramethylbenzidine is a soluble substrate is used when we are using HRP as an enzyme. OPD is another color producing substrate which is uh, known as phenyl and diamine dihydrochloride is used to detect HRP also. Other is washing solution, usually a phosphate buffer saline with a small concentration of 20 is used for a washing purpose. Specialized buffer are also available. Incubator and spectrophotometer are other devices which are used in ELISA. And now procedure. 
In first step, antibodies are absorbed on valve plate using coating buffer. Coating buffer stabilizes these antibodies and maximizes their absorption. Now keep this plate in incubator for at least 10 hours. Actually, you have to standardize the procedure, how long you have to keep this uh, in incubator. Now wash this plate with washing buffer, which remove any unbound antibodies. Now there may be empty spaces in well where no antibodies are present. These spaces need to be blocked. Otherwise, non-specific detection antibodies may bind there. Then again, keep this plate in incubator to allow blocking properly. After an hour, take out this plate and wash it with washing buffer. Now sample which contain antigen is added in the plate well. If antigen has specific reason against antibodies, antigen antibody complex will be formed. After adding sample, keep this plate again in incubator. After an hour, take out the plate and wash it with washing buffer. In next step, add secondary antibody or enzyme linked antibodies. Keep it in incubator for some time. Take out the plate, wash again, then add the color producing substrate. Substrate reacts with an enzyme and produce particular color. Then insert this plate in colorimetric reader and observe the reading in next video we will try to understand what are the types of ELISA what are their advantages and disadvantages thank you for watching this video